Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here I am with another jewelry unboxing. It's a, quite a compact box, but uh, quite full. And this is two lots or two groups of jewelry that I purchased from Sandy Campbell uh, through the um, Damaged Jewelry um, Sales Group. Sandy has the re Purpose Refinish Refurbish Vintage Jewelry Group. And then there's a companion um, Damaged Jewelry for Sale Group. And uh, one of the lots uh, caught my eye because it had a couple pieces from the manufacturers that I collect. And the other uh, set was full of beautiful rhinestones. That, and I want to get some experience in restoring uh, rhinestone jewelry. So I'm going to separate these packages, get rid of the box, and we'll start, we'll just pour out, oops, the jewelry, so this is the jewelry, um, all came individually wrapped, um, I just managed to drop a piece out here, so um, because these are all gold and silver tone, I'm going to uh, Put a darker background down, and I think it'll set off the uh, jewelry much better. Okay, so what have we got here first? All right, there's a loose rhinestone. Um, here we have a, a brooch. It's a riveted brooch setting, and you can see the rivets loose, so that'll take a little bit of repair. I'll have to look up information about how to tighten rivets. Um, I think it might be actually a matter of hammering the, the rivet back into place. This uh, brooch isn't signed for a manufacturer. It's quite lovely. I like leaves, brooches in different forms. So this one is missing two rhinestones here, and this rhinestone is a yellow color. So I'm not sure if... Um, the wrong rhinestone was re-glued into that spot. Oh, you can kind of see it's yeah, different colors than the rest. Or if it's just changing color for some reason. So this will be a matter of um, finding some matching rhinestones, figuring uh, out how to take that one out uh, without damaging it, or and seeing if it just needs to be re-glued, or finding a replacement for that as well. So there's the first piece. Um, then there is this American flag pin, um, missing some rhinestones, a couple of blues, a couple of whites. Looks like all the reds are there. Um, I won't uh, be spending time soon restoring the rhinestones, but uh, I had a cool idea. I might be able to take all the rhinestones out and change this into a Canadian flag if I'm can carefully design a, a red maple leaf and put two red stripes on either side might work and I certainly could reuse the reds that are already in there um, and, the, and the clears for white so uh, a project for uh, when I get around to it now one of these brooches has uh, had a stone that fell out which one was it this one oh this one's it's already out I think yeah, okay. So this is a um, an older riveted uh, pressed metal brooch um, with large rhinestones, a large center, and then smaller rhinestones. It's missing uh, one small rhinestone, and it's actually uh, one of them fell out when I first uh, looked at this. Um, and I'm not, I think it's this one here, because you can see all this sort of gold foil and this rhinestone is missing gold foil around the edges. So I think it came out of here. If I'm careful and I glue it back in correctly, I can try to line up the damaged foil. Otherwise, I'll just have to get a new rhinestone for that. And so one, I have two rhinestones to, uh, to locate and then the, uh, a good shine. And this will be a nice brooch. I like snowflake shaped brooches and I lost my favorite one last year 
um, so that I can store that and have a new rhinestone brooch. This is a lovely leaf, or it might be a feather, but just by the design, like a, a like you would use for a quill pen. And it is missing one round plastic black stone down here. Now, round plastic black stones of that size are a little more challenging to find because you don't want them to have holes in them or you want to only have a, a half drilled hole so that when you glue it back in, no holes are visible. You have a coral bracelet that's missing some white uh, round plastic stones that are not drilled. Uh, similar to that. So this will go on my I need to find the right replacement stone uh, list. When I get around left, this is a Sarah Coventry piece. Needs some cleaning on the back. It's a brooch and a pendant, so it hooks onto a chain. Um, it's not missing any stones that I can see. I don't, I'll have to check. I'll get a picture, see if maybe a little or coral colored stone went in there. Um, but it needs a good cleaning, and it'll be a, more of a challenge to clean because of the texture and also because you don't want to damage any of the, uh, the glued-in pieces. So that's uh, for, mostly for my uh, Sarah Coventry collection. And... Uh, it would be nice if over time I can uh, restore it to its glory. Um, then there was this lovely pin. This is a more modern pin. It has a little uh, glue or some discoloration right there on the back, but no one's going to see that if you're wearing it. It has all the pearls on the inside and has all these beautiful aquamarine colored uh, rhinestones. So a very wearable piece, um, just as it is. And I'll just see about cleaning the back. Yeah. Then there's this um, metal pin riveted on the back. Um, a very dull gray, I guess a pot metal, uh, no manufacturer's information. Though I say that and then I see right here there's a diamond shape, a definite diamond shape. With So I'll have to get out my magnifiers and take a look and see if I can locate a manufacturer on there. This pin it unfortunately is missing one of the stems here as well as some rhinestones. Um, this rhinestone here is clear rather than blue like the rest so some looks like some restoration was attempted um, or or it came out and was glued back in without its blue uh, foil. Um, so not sure what I'm going to do with this, uh, a good source of, of uh, pink and light blue rhinestones if I decide to just uh, take everything out. and uh, Otherwise, I'll put it on the, uh, I'll get around to it burner um, up in terms of restoring it. Then there's this lovely, lovely um, faux pearl and rhinestone pin. I think there may be one rhinestone missing right there. Is each of these little leaves? Oh, no, there's more than one. Okay, so each of these leaves has two rhinestones, or should have two rhinestones. And so, so there's some missing. Two there, one there, two there, one there. The um, seed pearls are all there. And if they needed to be restored, if they were losing their surface, they are just uh, strung on a wire and wrapped around. So they would be um, very easy to restore. Um, in terms of the rhinestones, the little spots need to be cleaned and then um, rhinestones glued back in. And it's a nice oval pin um, that will be very wearable.
just as it is. And I, right now I'm not going to plan on changing the uh, pearls, though I do have some that size and I have restored pearls on wires before. Okay, so there's that lot. There should be another piece in it, but I must have put... Ah, here it is. Okay, must have put it away incorrectly. Uh, the first video I made didn't work out very well. So this is the other piece that was in that lot that was from a maker I'm collecting, and this is a Coro bracelet. I'm sure Coro's upside down. Yeah, there's Coro. Okay, don't have it the right place. Sorry. So there's Coro. Um, uh, faux uh, white and uh, black pearls, dark gray pearls. Um, a safety chain. Um, this has a, a typical Coro type of connecting where each of the links is clasped uh, to the next link and that's where the plating has worn off. Um, I, I have another bracelet with those kinds of connectors and the plating's all there but at one point the, the connectors uh, opened up and all the links fell apart so I had to put the bracelet back together. Now I'm a, a little more careful uh, with it. So this restoration project's going to be a challenge if I do it because the black of where the loss of placing uh, plating uh, shows through on the front of the bracelet. Um, there's even some loss of plating here, um, but definitely at all the connections. I think I, if I look quick quickly, all of the rhinestones and pearls are there. It's really the plate loss. And unless you're going to have something replated, um, you know, take all the stones out and then send it out for replating. Um, there aren't great ways of fixing that. Um, there's gilders, paste, there's paints, but um, I may just have to love this the way it is. Um, and I do already, um, just by the design. Um, so that's this, the, this, these two pieces uh, that I, of uh, manufacturers that I collect attracted me the the uh, snowflake to repair the lovely little pearl piece and I love this one so and this one's just perfect in itself so then the next lot that I purchased is all rhinestone pieces and um, the beauty of purchasing two lots at once is that you save them in postage um, this is a rhinestone brooch and I'm not sure if you can see see how there's some yellowing up here in this rhinestone this rhinestone this rhinestone there's a certain way when you look at it it kind of it kind of looks yellow yeah more yellow than the rest um, I'm not sure if it's um, the glue that's making those rhinestones look yellow um, I do see a tiny bit of glue up on the top of this one. So it may be that they, the glue is getting old and drying out and turning yellow. And so then you basically you would take all the rhinestones out, um, clean up the setting, and then re-glue um, the rhinestones with a glue that's not going to yellow. Um, you know, a riveted construction, nice look on the back, uh, nothing wrong with the metal, so this is really uh, just looking at uh, what to do about the yellowing of the rhinestones. This is a cute little um, pin, I, I think of it as a star pin, um, nothing to repair that I can see, though. Oh, I guess there is. Um, right here, it's hard to even tell that there's a problem. Right here, there's a rhinestone 
on the edge of the star, and here there isn't, and here there isn't, and here there isn't. Um, and here there isn't. So four little rhinestones are needed to restore this. Or if you took that one out, I don't think anybody would notice that they were missing. Um, riveted on the back, a little bit of uh, rust on the back that I would want to clean up. And then perhaps um, it's right just behind the pin here. So uh, put something, uh, find the right way to, to remove the rust and then recoat it so it doesn't rust again in the future. And I love this little pin because there's another pin in here. Not sure. Oh, here it is right here. That I think would look really cute together with it. It's a like a shooting star pin. Um, the main problem with this is one of the rhinestones has fallen out of the cup here. Other than that, everything looks uh, pretty good shape. Maybe a little yellowed, but... Um, I have rhinestones in cups, so I will should be able to fix that. And I may see if the rhinestones look um, a different color, like if these look gray or yellow compared to the, the fresh replacement rhinestone. And then it may be a matter of deciding whether this is, it's better to get an older stone that matches the color or... Um, think about removing all the stones, cleaning it all up, and putting them all back in. Um, I'd rather <laughs> do the minimum amount of work, so I, I'm hoping to find a, the right color of a rhinestone just to match it. And I don't mind the fact that it looks old. I mean, it's old. I look old. Um, I'm old. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't need to look brand new. <laughs> Neither does it. Then this is a beautiful, beautiful little brooch. It looks bent out of shape a little bit. These marquees, this one really dips down and this one dips up and I'm but um looking at the back uh and the way it's constructed, I don't think it's bent too out of shape. I I and the metal doesn't feel soft so uh, I'm not sure it it needs a little cleaning um, but I think it's just a beautiful shape the pearls are starting to lose a little bit of their luster they're not flaking yet but they're not as shiny as they could be um, so I'm gonna let uh, this one sit for a while and I'm going to decide what I think it needs. Um, I would prefer if this section bent back, with, but it's, it's not flexible in any way. So um, it might just have to live the way it is uh, until I think it needs the restoring. Oh, there's a, a rhinestone missing there, so that's easy enough to fix. But I love that. I think it's just beautiful. Then this um, pin is a lovely rhinestone pin. Um, needs a little cleaning uh, so that it's the, the silver is shinier. Um, and I'll have to look. There's a rhinestone missing here. Um, there's some glue showing in around there. I think just one missing rhinestone, but a beautiful little, um, you know, wrapped bouquet of flowers with rhinestone ribbon. Oh, no, there's a rhinestone missing there. So two missing rhinestones. Um, and uh, not marked that I can see, even though there's a little spot here that looks like it could have been writing. I think it's just the, the texture of the plating on the back. You can see, uh, I, I have this thing about rhinestones. Love rhinestones. Just love them. This one's slightly different. I love this sort of satellite design. This delicate wire. And the fact that the, the beautiful shaping of this, the height of it. Um, there's a dark stone here. And a few of them are, are 
looking like they're go getting dark. Rhinestones can turn dark if water gets in behind them and, and uh, damages the foil. Um, I may uh, just take this one out since it's prong set. It should come right out and I should be able to fit a new one in there. Um, and then it should be good as new. Again, a riveted back. Oh, and this is a coral pin. You can hardly see it. The stamp, well, there's hardly any room for the stamp, but it's actually right here. So that's a bonus for me. Some of these things you just find, I don't know if you can see that if I pull it up. Just barely there, it says Coro. Cool. Another one for my collection. But um, once it's repaired, I will wear it. Just two more pieces in this. Uh, group of lots. Now I think this is just beautiful. It's like a rose. Here's the stem. Here are the leaves. And uh, the beautiful flower in the center. And we're missing some rhinestones. One there. One, at least one there. Um, I think we're missing some little teeny tiny ones down there, and I'm not sure about in here. I'll have to look more closely. This one's a little yellow. Um, that one's a little gray. So I'll uh, I'll have to take a good look at this, get out my jeweler's loop and look at it uh, more closely under magnification and see what all needs to happen. This one looks like it's in there crooked, like it somehow got knocked sideways out of its prongs. I'm not sure if they're if the prongs are really holding things in or if they're there for decoration. So this one I would probably want to reseat so that it's not sideways. Um, but I'll deal with the, the missing ones first. But isn't that a be beautiful little pin? Just, just beautiful. I mean, it's not very big, but it's beautiful. And the last pin is another snowflake pin and you know how I've said I like snowflake pins it's missing some plating on this at the back and it's a tiny bit loose the clasp but uh, uh, and it's a C clasp but I'm not too worried about that um, I can use some probably use some gilders paste to clean that up there's a little spot on the end of this that needs some paste just to restore its color um, but the biggest issue are just the missing rhinestones. So obviously the center one, uh, two of the larger for the middle set, one, two for the outer set. Um, I'll probably look for um, the white ones for the outer set. I might put a colored rhinestone in the middle there. What do you think? I think it would make it pop. Um, I've seen some beautiful things done where people have taken out all the rhinestones, the clear rhinestones, and then put two or three colors back in. Amazing. Um, so uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do here. I mean, I should leave it as a, a snowflake because I like snowflakes, but I, I kind of like the idea of putting a color in there. What do you think? Red. Anyway. Um, Take the pink out of this one, put it in the middle there. It's a little big, let's see. Oh, might work, might work. Um, anyway, lots of options. And uh, since this one's not signed, I'm not worried about uh, changing how it looks. I'll just have to tighten up the, the rivet here because I, I can see as I'm moving the, the back that the center part is moving as well. So, uh, lots of work ahead of me, but, uh, you know, tackling it one brooch at a time should be quite manageable. I hope you enjoyed seeing these uh, beautiful vintage jewels and uh, my discussion of how I'm going to fix them or uh, repair them or maybe repurpose them. Uh, Till next time, goodbye, have a great day, and uh, like, share, and Subscribe.